Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's here's Mike. Today's video, we're gonna go over a semi AFK guide for Greg in the God Wars Dungeon 2. We're gonna go over the gear setup, your inventory setup, the revel bar, and the arc relics. And at the end, I'll show just a kill or two on Greg and I'll do some commentary kind of, of where to stand and what to do. Uh, if you guys like the video, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment. This is going to be a little mini series, so I will release the other three bosses here in the time coming. Uh, so if you want to watch those, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, here we go. So for the gear setup, it's going to be pretty simple. You're going to want to wear your highest tank gear for Necro. Um, in this image here, I have the tier 90. Um, obviously you might not have this, so just wear your highest, which would probably be tier 80 at this point, because you're probably going to be farming for the greater necroplasm looking things that you have to kill these dudes for. And then next you're going to want to have your highest weapon and lantern. Uh, for the perks, just follow the optimal PVM perk guide. I'll have a link in the description below for you to click and view that. Next you're going to want to have the blood shard necklace. This is to help with healing. Um, on Greg, this is highly important with his bleed effects that he could have uh, if you don't have anti-poisons with you. Next, you're just going to want to have your highest necro cape. Um, I have the Zuck cape. If you have the kiln cape, that is fine. We aren't using death skulls, so this is just whatever boosts your necromancy damage by the most. Wear that cape and you should be good to go. And then you're going to want to wear some cinder brain gloves um, because Greg is poisonable. Uh, you're not really here for XP, so you're not really too concerned if you lose the XP at this point. Uh, but this will give you faster kills. If you can't afford Cinder Banes, just wear your Necro Gloves. Um, and you'll your kills will be a little bit sh longer, but it's fine. It'll be maybe a few seconds longer. Next, wear your highest ring. I have the Reavers ring here. Um, just wear your highest luck ring. If you don't have a Reavers or Berserker ring, uh, you'll get a little bit better drop chance if you wear a luck ring here. Um, but either will work out perfectly fine. And then the last is the book slot. I have the Jazz book. Um, after doing this, I should have brought the Illuminated or the normal version of the Book of Law. It costs around 200K for every 15 minutes, but you'll be getting more than enough kills to sustain that cost. And with the passive of having the tornado go down, this will increase your kill times by quite a bit. And I think it would be worth it. Um, if you don't care, just wear your highest book that you can have for the damage boost. So onto the inventory. It's a pretty simple inventory setup. Uh, your first two slots, you're gonna wanna have your highest tier overload. Uh, your next slot is going to be a Super Prayer Renewal Flask. If you don't have the Super Prayer Renewal, uh, just bring a Prayer Renewal, two of them, and then some uh, Prayer Flask so you can just rejuvenate your prayer during the fight. I have in my inventory the Ancient Elven Crystal Shard, whatever it's called, that restores your prayer. Uh, if you have this, you don't really need to bring the Prayer Pots, um, but it's nice to have at least one or two just in case. Then I have the Enhanced Excalibur, since it's a free food every five minutes. And then next you're going to want to bring um, at least two, if not more, uh, whatever the anti-poisons that you can either afford to buy or make, depending if you're an Iron Man. Uh, this is huge for the Greg fight because he will poison you, and you are going to want to have these on hand to prevent just random tick damage that he constantly applies to you. And then also bring your ectoplasms to summon your conjurers for necro. And I bring just this amount of sharks. I find it to be plenty. Um, if you want to bring less, you can bring less or you can bring more. Uh, it just depends on your levels with defense and HP and your necro level. Um, that's going to be something that you have to play with while you're doing the kills. Next, we're going to talk about the relics for Ark to have on while you're fighting Greg. Uh, the major one that you're going to want to have on is Persistent Rage. Um, as between each of the kills, this is very helpful to almost get up to full adrenaline. So if your ghost is about to go out, if you don't feel like clicking, um, your guy will automatically uh, start activating the ghost. Or if your ghost has 30 seconds, he'll start using Scythe. Uh, this is really good to have though. Uh, also, Fury of the Small to regenerate or generate more adrenaline during your attacks. 
And I just put on Death War, that's because I used for Raziel, and I didn't feel like changing it, and I feel like it's just nice to have a damage reduction uh, when doing these type of AFK activities. Next, we're going to talk about the Revel Bar. Uh, it's a pretty simple and easy bar. You only need to have these seven uh, abilities set up. Uh, so first is going to be the Conjurers. So it's going to be Conjurer, Skeleton, and Ghost. Uh, this is big because obviously the Skeleton's for damage. Ghost will heal you a lot. And with having the Scythe right next to it, you really won't be using Haunt. Um, if you want to, you can switch this up so you can use Haunt, but it's not necessary. Uh, but next, you obviously have... The Scythe abilities, it's best to have all three versions of the Scythe unlocked for this. If not, whatever one you have unlocked is going to be fine. Um, but this helps kill like the Greg Shadows and whatnot that spawn in during the fight. Next, we have Volley of Souls and Finger of Death. Uh, these are important to have before uh, Soul Sap and Touch of Death because once you start getting the stacks, if you put it afterwards, uh, it rarely casts those two spells, and it gets kind of, you get slower kills, kind of annoying. Uh, so I put mine beforehand, and then obviously Soul Sap and Touch afterwards. So on to a kill for Greg. The first thing you're going to want to do is run over here to this northeast area where the skeleton is, and turn your run off and do Protect From Range. Uh, the reason why you want to turn your runoff is because when Greg teleports away and you start walking up to attack him, and if you're using your scythe, he will, your character will run the furthest tile away to use the attack, which is two tiles, where run, he'll run right next to him, and then you'll be in melee distance. Uh, you don't want to be in melee distance because you want to just stay on prey from uh, range. Uh, like you can see here, I'm in this melee, so I have to click off to get another tile out so he just uses range attacks. Other than that, all you do is just kind of sit here, let your bar do the work. You'll kill him in a little over a minute. If you're using tier 80 equipment, it'll be around a minute 30 uh, for your kill times. And other than that, you can get all the kills that you need. If you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Comment if you guys want to see something else. And remember, I'm going to be doing the other three bosses that will be out shortly uh, for a semi-AFK, if not full AFK. Have a good one. Peace out.